guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl vanessa k7 and i'm back with another b back with another b back with a ponytail <laughs> i'm back with a ponytail i'm joking i'm back with another video and this was a video i'm planning to i don't know how i always explain my videos because you guys can see from the title already i'm about to do how to get bright under eyes with no flashback i don't wear concealer to look match my shade i use shades that are lighter than me i don't like a bright face i like my skin tone but i like my under eyes to be popping because it's just vanessa k7 it's just k7 to be under eyes popping yeah i ain't so it's my thing sort of thing guys if you see my head turning to the side of this because i'm trying to show this ponytail yeah i'm trying to show this ponytail anyway yeah, I posted on Twitter who would like to see uh, me do bright under eyes and people said film it, film it, film it. I was like, yes, like let me run to the camera ASAP, film that and show you guys how I do it. I've been doing it for a number of years so everything is takes practice. Anyway, before I get straight into it because I just want to make this as detailed as possible and give you guys the best makeup tricks. I want everyone to, you know, when you see my pictures on Instagram, I want everyone to be like, oh, how can I get this look? Well, I'm, I'm about to show you. So before we get into it, make sure you hit that, that is the thumbs up, that, and make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm on the road to 40k and that's my goal by the end of April, beginning of May, and I will be over the moon, basically. So thank you guys, and thank you guys for all your support. So there is three ways that you can make your under eye bright. So I do want to try and show you guys all three methods, um, depending on what you you know find best to to use do you know what i mean i don't know i'm gonna do it i don't know what to start with first so this primer because i'm about to use my matte foundation uh, 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 uh. so guys i'm in my i'm in my youtube mode like i've never been more excited to film i think it's because a lot of people are discovering me now so i'm just like crazy like we're here we made it we're making it we're gonna make history um, being a UK YouTuber, we're gonna make history. A YouTuber from Croydon, at that. <laughs> I am, seriously. I'm gonna avoid putting foundation in my eye area, and a lot of people do that, and it's well, they think it's fine, but I don't avoid getting too much foundation in this area because it's gonna build up too much product, and that's what's gonna give you cakey concealer. So avoid doing that. I don't want drama. Oh. By the way, I know you're busy watching me, but have you clicked that like button though? Now that I've put on my foundation, I'm going to highlight with my usual highlight, Fawn. Just use your regular concealer. Now, like I said, I can go in with Fawn. I'm going to I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm going to show you the three methods I'm talking about. I'm going to be wasting a lot of product, but it's because I want to show you guys and make sure you guys have an understanding. So when you watch my videos, you know how to do it. And I've gone in as much detail as I can, okay? I conceal as normally, but I won't use too much of it on my under eyes because I don't want it to blend in with the actual highlighter. So I'll use about that much. So I'm blending just the usual, so in a triangular shape. And I'm going to stop where my eyebrow stops, okay? So that'll be my usual highlight that's not highlighted. Look at this shade. This is medium beige in of the LA Girl Concealers. Going with did, which is basically like a white person shade. Like this is not my shade, but it's really gonna bring that brightness to my under eye and put it here. Don't take it too up here. Or you're gonna have too much build up. Just take it here. Also, keep it within the under eye. Don't go here because you're gonna get make it too white. We're brightening just this bit. It's a bit too big. If you have the small beauty blender, it's really gonna help you. But I have to squash mine because. I haven't got a new beauty blender, but I need to get one. So I'll squash my beauty blender down and I'll blend to keep it all in proportion. So still do that little triangle, but keep it in all in proportion and stop about even where your eye stops. So the difference, the difference. One. Now I'm going to show you guys technique number two. So I'm just going to wipe this all off. So technique number two is my usual shade. I'm not going to use it. So I'm going to go straight in with the shade that is 10 shades lighter than me and just go straight in with that. I'm not going to use my usual concealer. So this is another technique that works the same way. So you're just going to use it as if you're just highlighting your under eyes usual like this. Same concept, small beauty blender or squash your beauty blender and 
keep it within that triangle that you just drew so same concept same concepts right under right okay but the reason why i didn't it you well if you see a difference you see a difference but i'm just showing you the different ways that you can break make your eye under eye bright without using too much product so you may not want to build it up because we've already used foundation you don't want to then go in with your usual highlight and then use the bright highlight so you might just want to put your foundation and then use the bright highlight straight away which is fine it works the same way i wipe my foundation from under my eye as well and i'm going to keep it like that the only thing i want to do is prime so basically I have no makeup on my under eye area so all i'm going to do is prime and i'll show you guys the last and final technique i mean you know people say they don't see a difference in primer but i do like i just want to protect my skin do you know what i mean so i'm gonna prime okay shade medium beige it has a slightly yellow undertone i have a really white one which is basically a white person's skin tone called creamy beige but you can see the difference the difference for yourself that's my 10 shades lighter one and this one is one that i bought ages ago which i don't no longer use because it's too white and it is going to create an ashy cast so i don't use this unless it's a drop but you can see the difference so when you go 10 shades lighter make sure it's like you know reasonable means and it's got like a bit of color in it no foundation i'm just going to go straight in one color only and just highlight concealer but i'm still keeping it within means the furthest i'll go with highlight is this triangle where my nose begins and then the corner the end of my eye so that's how this is the crazy technique that i'm talking about you can see that i've brightened my under eyes but clearly i've use quite a lot of it so it's almost like my face has almost turned too white and you guys are going to say why are you turning your face white why da, 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 da? why is your brightness going all the way down here this is another technique i get my foundation right and then i go over the outskirts of my highlight like this do you see so after i've done that I take my beauty blender and now I blend away some of that brightness and I can control where I want the bright under eye to be. So you can see how much it's toned down to just be in. Blend, 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 blend. I'm really done with highlighter. I didn't have to, there's not much product. There's no foundation. There's just primer and then I go straight with the bright, bright under eye and that's going to, that's less build up on your under eye and you get a more flawless finish. Now I'm just going to continue the rest of my makeup well the rest of my highlight in and then i'll be back to show you guys the powder in now this is the laurier translucent powder which is the best for no flashback and when i tell you guys you have to believe me when i say flashback also depends on the powder you use because remember that ben i banana powder error that powder somewhat gave me flashback it plays a massive part the same with the mac cc color corrector powder that i used to use back in the day the Sasha Buttercup powder, no flashback. I kind of use both, but I do rely on the translucent powder a lot. So, press on your under eye. And keep it within that triangle as well, because where you put powder really depends where you get flashback. And we only want the brightness on our under eyes. So I'm going to keep it within that triangle we talked about. And... And I used to bake a lot, but now I found the power in pressing your powder in. Guys, I'm not exaggerating. I am not exaggerating. Like, pressing powder in is, like, my best thing now. So I'm just literally going to do the rest of my makeup. And then I'll be back to give you guys the flashback test. So you guys can judge and see for yourself. So this is the finished look. This is... You know what? This whole look right here, if you're a day one subscriber, you should know this is giving me my old video vibes. This is giving me the old and SK7 vibes. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys for also being interactive because I wouldn't have filmed this video hadn't I got the reception I did on Twitter with just a few people. Even if it was a few people that says film this film that I want to film it because at least someone has asked for my content. So I really appreciate that. I hope everyone is staying safe. And you guys have seen the flash pics. Um, 
it came out even better than expected it seems like whatever i do on camera these days it just comes out like extra extra perfect the first time do you know how hard it is to film have all my products in front of me have makeup on my hands and you know when, she, when stuff goes right the first time i'm just like yes jesus <laughs> yes thank you tell me what your thoughts is about bright under eyes in the comment section because i know a lot of people are a bit mm, with it because they don't want to make their face seem too light and they don't know how to do it so i hope this helped in the best way possible stay tuned stay blessed and make sure you subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching bye